Our next guests are both committed to giving back to veterans. Please welcome to the show the founder of Military Mutual and a retired Navy Lieutenant, Derek Barksdale, and his special guest, founder of the nonprofit American Culture Council, Donna Woodrum. LT, he's hey. back on the show. What's up? How you doing, man? Man, I'm doing outstanding. Great Love to it. have you here. Donna, thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. You guys have a big announcement to make today, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. I mean, yes. this is a big deal, what we're talking about here. Yes. It's huge. So, Derek, let's just uh, a little bit about Military Mutual real quick. For people who haven't heard of Military Mutual yet, tell us a little bit about Military Mutual. Sure. Well, Military Mutual is founded on the sole principle of giving back in which ensuring the benefits of military service for veterans and their families is facilitated with people just like them in the real estate arena. Right. So with that being said, giving back is what we're talking about today. That's right, absolutely. Now Donna, tell us about your cause. Well, uh, American Culture Council, my nonprofit, is a nonprofit partner of the Home Depot stores and the Home Depot Foundation. Wow. And together we refurbish homes for veterans free to the veteran homeowner. Wow. That's our job. <laughs> That's an incredible That's job. That's our man. calling. That's your cause, yes. right? That, that's a yes. big cause. It sure yeah. is. For a lot of different reasons, these things are needed. And I'm yes. sure you've seen, and you work with Home Depot, so that's a very, very big deal. It sure is. I mean, you can't just call Home Depot and say, hey, I have a good idea, right? I mean, you've got to. No. <laughs> They're not answering. It doesn't, work, it doesn't work that way. So you must know people, or you must just be, uh, you won't take no for an answer type person. Is it both? It is both. <laughs> <laughs> and the more people I meet, the, the more veterans I can help. And the more times I do not in, uh, stand for, well, we'll have to wave. Mm -mm. The more people that I can help, the more money we can get together, the more families that we can support. You know, the, the, the problem that I've noticed mostly is in, in this turn down of economy is the deferred maintenance on veterans' homes. It is huge, millions of dollars worth of deferred maintenance. There, there just isn't the resources to go around for them, and, and that's where we come in and give them a helping hand. So um, give us an idea of someone, uh, just an example of the type of person who you might help through your foundation. The, uh, the person who has had the biggest impact on my heart is uh, a veteran with uh, two little children, married man, 90% disabled, very young. He contacted my nonprofit uh, a while back and he explained to me that he lives in a home, needs a lot of work, he's got a pool in his backyard he doesn't want. He can't afford to leave, he can't afford to get rid of the pool, could I please help him because his baby died in the pool. Wow. You can't say no to a request like that and I had no idea where to start, none whatsoever. First people I called were my Home Depot partners and they said we don't do pool removal, that is beyond our scope. So I had to contact some other people and eventually I, I met Derek and he had some contacts and sure enough we managed to get a contractor who has just got a permit to remove the pool and he is donating his services through his, his company to uh, get rid of this pool so that we can then landscape the backyard and give them a whole new beginning for their life. <laughs> How about Absolutely. that? How about that? That is amazing. It is amazing. That's an incredible story. So you guys are doing big things, and of course Derek's the person to call in that situation. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Of course he is. He would know someone. He'd figure out how to get things done. Yes, exactly. You become a lieutenant, a lieutenant in the United States Navy. For, you can't get <laughs> things done. He is, a, he, is a, he is the perfect partner. Right? Absolutely. I am blessed to have him as a partner. Well, here's what's really interesting. I'm so glad both of you are here today because I truly believe, Jen, we both share this, that we believe that um, people really do want to help vets. Yes. They really do, and I think they just don't know exactly how to do it. Exactly. So what we did uh, on social media, Jen, was we posted something very, very simple. You want to lead us down that road? Yeah, well, we asked our, our San Diegans and all of our friends on Facebook, if you could help a veteran, would you? And, of course, so many said, absolutely. You know, Kenneth Strickland said, I'm an Army, I'm an Army veteran myself. And Karen Davidson said, of course. But we also got some people like... Judy Otero, who said yes, if I could, and that so was the one, that was the one that stuck out to, to me. Turn. That's and that's yeah. what I that's what I was looking for because mm -hmm. I thought most people would have that feeling. Like, of course, if I could help a veteran, I would. If they fell down in front of me, I'd help them up. Right. But what about all the people? What what's going on out there? How can you do that? 
Um, and so it's great to have you both here today to tell us about this because you've got a huge project. Let's go ahead and let the cat out of the bag. Uh, Derek, tell us what's going on. Well, through this particular project that uh, Donna was mentioning, um, as we ended, going, ended up going down this road, we thought of everything that uh, we were doing for the veteran, but then we found out a lot more about Donna's background in film, and uh, well, maybe we could talk about that a little bit, but uh, that being <laughs> said, we realized that this would be a good opportunity. Actually, Donna realized that this would be a great opportunity for a reality show called Warrior Home. And so that is where we are moving on to, to give some visibility over those wounded warriors and for the veterans who come back from deployment such as this individual did and have to deal with real life. And sometimes real life throws you some curveballs, and we want to be there to help. That's awesome. So Donna, can you tell us about some of that background here, <laughs> here in the uh, TV? Um, I'm a 35-year veteran of the Screen Actors Guild been a member since 1980. Um, do you want to hear about one of the movies? I'm <laughs> 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 scared already. Okay. In 1984, <laughs> I was in uh, Wes Craven's Nightmare on Elm Street, the original Nightmare, the original teen slasher horror film. <laughs> the one that started the genre. Whoa. And Johnny Depp was Don't my first. He, he was actually a uh, in his first movie on Nightmare, and I was his co-star. Wow. And I played Tina's mom, the mom of the first teenager killed in the Nightmare, his girlfriend. And um, everybody knew Johnny was going to be a star. He was just so far out there beyond really? everybody. Absolutely, from I've the very he's, beginning. He's still an amazing person. He I've absolutely heard. is. Just, like, just yeah. unbelievable. A talent, a talent beyond talents. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's crazy. So yeah, you were probably in my nightmares back then. That was <laughs> she like was in mine. That's, that's the first <laughs> movie I ever saw. It was yes. a nightmare for Freddy me, too. Kruger. Boy, I tell you what, I remember how I got over that. Yeah. I had to pretend Freddie was my friend. And like, somehow <laughs> psyched myself into like believing that so that when yeah. I saw he him in my dreams, dream. it's just like, oh, yeah, we're boys, right? Yeah, yeah that's cool. No, Freddie uh, was not anybody's friend. <laughs> no. That's awesome. That's so funny. So, yeah. uh, so obviously, that's pretty extensive. Work with Johnny Depp. I mean, co starred with you know Johnny Depp. Yeah. Around Elm Street, that's a big yeah. deal. Yeah. Whose idea was Warrior Home? Mine. Okay, tell me, where were you? What were you thinking when you were like, we need to do this? Hmm. Actually, I, I wasn't really doing anything. I, I was getting ready to go to a breakfast meeting with a friend and, and all of a sudden, uh, something just fell into my spirit and I, and it was to to turn these projects into a television show because that would that would have more people know about veterans and it would tell veterans there is a place for you to come to that can help you, and I had no inclination to do that whatsoever. It was the it was not even on my mind, much less the last thing on my mind. I had no idea whatsoever, and the more I kept thinking about it, the more I realized that this probably was a doable thing. So when I left Hollywood, reality TV show hadn't been in, invented at that time. No. So I had to look up what it was, and I, it's scriptless. I said, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> 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 and, uh, and, and all the elements that would be in there, it doesn't have actors. Sure. It, it, there's a whole lot of, it, it's, it's not a union production because there isn't anyone portraying anyone else. They're, these are real people tell, tell, talking about their life, their real experiences. And I looked at that and I, I said, oh, uh, okay, I, I know I can arrange that because I arrange these sorts of things all the time in other areas that I work in. And uh, so I sat down to copyright whatever it was that was going to be done here. And I said, okay, what will I call this? And the first thing that came into my mind was Warrior Home. I said, that's it, I'm not going to look for anything else, that's it. Boom. So copyrighted that and then did up something that you can actually submit for a copyright uh, premise. And then I said, why stop there? Let's get a proposal. I'm looking at the proposal. OK, I'll get that. I said, no, no, no. I have to get distribution first. I have to make sure that somebody will take this project and put it on the air. So I called around to some friends. And uh, they said, uh, check with KUSI. I've got a buddy over there. So I did. They called me in for a meeting. I explained what I wanted to do. I didn't have a digital anything <laughs> on tape. I had, I had an idea. <laughs> <laughs> And they said, Donna, whatever you create, we'll put on the air. Wow. Yeah. 
Wow. And I said, uh, would you put that in writing? <laughs> <laughs> and they did. Very cool. <laughs> yes. So that's, that's part of the proposal. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. So how can people get involved? What needs to be done? How can people help this cause right now? Well, if you don't mind, uh, yeah. one of the things that I've found is that being a business owner myself, um, I've found that trying to give dollars um, is not enough for me. Um, I've had a, tons of veteran sources that have nonprofit, nonprofit organizations. Yeah. Uh, that come to me and you know hey can you provide money for this and it just felt like it was um, it didn't have that tangible experience so there are two parts that you can get involved with you can provide dollars or you can provide time towards it as well and with a project such as this unfortunately you know our company is going to be providing a lot of income towards this and unfortunately we're going to need a lot more so that's one thing that we can use but you can also be involved on the ground level helping us with some shovels helping us with some dirt moving mm -hmm. uh, putting some plants down whatever it may be so time and money are the two things that we definitely need thank you both so much for being here really appreciate your time these pleasure. two great causes thank you, and every great uh, thing that you're doing in the community thank you so much for your thank time. you thank you Jared. all right stick around for more smarter san diego tv where we guarantee to make you smarter than everyone else <laughs>